So how can we evaluate the performance? And this can be done easily in MATLAB or Octave. Not the filtering operation itself, so this was our heuristics before, but um, the impulse response. We can look at that. So we first generate our impulse response, FIR1. So that's the impulse response. And then after that, we just scale it up. Yeah, so, so we say h equals h multiplied by 2 hard 8, just to create a really bad example. So this is scaling up. And then after this, we just quantize it. Yeah, so quantize here. And then after this, can just evaluate our frequency response here. There's no way of scaling it, so therefore we're scaling it down again, so therefore everything will be scaled up by this factor here, just by taking this into account when comparing this sort of floating point result. Um, so let's have a look and do that. So I've done already here the FIR filter command. So if I do a plot, then we're getting here the, the smooth floating point impulse response and here is the, the floating point characteristic here of the filter. So damping minus 60 here from zero. And so, and so now what we could do is let's just keep this here on the screen and create a second figure here. And now what we do is, so we scale this up here to two Eight. So in this case, 8 bit. This is not H, this is B in our case here. Okay, let's let's scale this here up. And then as a next step, we need to, quanti to quantize this here. So that's int 32 of B. And um, now we can compare this here to our previous filter response. So we see here, obviously we are creating the quantization creates quite a lot of ripples here in the in the pass band. So the gain just now is 48 because of our scaling. Um, this is, these are the 8 bits that's in decibel, that's 48 decibel. And so this drops roughly from 50 to, so from our 48 to 20 here. So there we've got roughly 30 decibel damping here with our 8-bit, which is actually not so bad compared to our floating point filter, which has a damping of minus 60. So the 8-bit filter is roughly half as good as the floating point version, but saves us probably quite a lot of computation.